right, Ocean Runner here. Uh, I'm a little bit overdue for giving you a bit of a recap on my um, my adventures down in Disney with the Dopey Challenge and the uh, new Healthy Ocean or Bus program. So I'm here with Heidi Duncanson, who is going to ask me a few questions about that adventure. <laughs> okay. Well, I think last time we left off with Ocean Runner, you were training for these marathons. How did your final training go before you hit Disney World? Most of it was fabulous. I was right on track until about two weeks before the event, and then I got a pinched nerve and was not able to finish the last few runs of my training. But I'm a hearty soul, so I went down anyway. Um, and um, I wasn't, after doing all this fundraising and awareness for um, the Healthy Ocean or Bus campaign, I wasn't going to, um, to miss this. So uh, it was a little bit of a challenge, but I did get down there. Well, that's good. So when you got down to Disney, you started with a you ran a 5K, a 10K, a half marathon, and a full marathon. How did all that go? Pretty well. Um, so I ran the 5K with my family, which was amazing. The 10K was awesome. Uh, you're running through the parks in Disney, which is just a pretty fantastic thing in and of itself. Um, it was a little bit of a bummer that we didn't have the half marathon. They actually didn't do it because of a lightning storm. So I walked 13.1. I actually walked a little bit more than that. Um, and the marathon was amazing, but it was freezing. I come from New England, and I was expecting to go down to Florida and have you know be able to be in my T-shirt. No, no, no. They brought heaters in. Uh, it was. It felt like about negative five. Um, so it was a, a little bit of a rough start. Everybody was um, buying out the merchandise place with every blanket and sweatshirt that they had. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, it, was, it was still a pretty amazing experience. I've never done a marathon before, so it was hard, um, but it was, it was very well worth it. Wow. And you raised all this money for a new program at the Seco Science Center. Yes, I am so excited about that. Um, I fundraise for a living, so I don't usually enlist my uh, family and friends to support me in any of those things, uh, because I'd be constantly asking them for money. But it was actually all of those people that are the closest to me who, um, who stepped up and helped me raise over $1,800 for the Healthy Ocean or Bus program. And we were still trying to figure out what that program looked like. Um, but actually, after I came back from Disney, my son had been part of a really exciting um, badge program at Animal Kingdom. And uh, it taught him a lot. And he came back wanting to. Um, help the animals. Mm -hmm. And so we are modeling that same sort of badge program here at the center. And it's um, still in the works. They're, they're printing it right now. So I will certainly have more information on what that looks like and how we are um, educating children as well as encouraging them to take action about how they can um, keep the ocean healthy. Wow. Well, it sounds like we have a lot to look forward to this spring. Absolutely. But for now, I got to run. <laughs>